Hi, this problem is about uh, uh, simple relative velocity, question number 2 and the third one is about projectile motion. So first we will address problem number 2 which is about uh, relative speed. Now you see the question here is stream of a river is flowing with a speed of 2 km per hour and the swimmer can swim at the speed of 4 km per hour. What should be the direction with respect to flow so that it will cross the river straight? Presuming swimmer is flowing in this direction as shown in the arrow. Okay. And river is flowing from uh, top to down. So the river is going to oppose the uh, swimmer's swimming. Right. So we'll mark river speed we are. And uh, expectation is that swimmer reaches the same point where he started. In that case, swimmer's speed Vs is going to have two components. So one component which will be in the direction of x-axis, that will be the speed which which he travels towards the other side of the bank. And it is straight opposite at the same point where he started. And the other component is the vertical component which opposes the flow of the river. So the vertical component of swimmer's speed of the Vy should be equal to speed of the river. In that case, there won't be any so it will cancel out and uh, swimmer will reach at the same point where he started straight across the river. So the vertical speed of swimmer is Vs sin theta that is equal to Vr. Now we are given Vs is equal to 4 and Vr is equal to 2. So 4 sin theta is equal to 2. So sin theta is sin 30 degrees. It is 30 degrees in 1 by 2. Now we know that uh, swimmer is uh, already at 90 degree, you know, uh, difference from the river bank. So we will add 90 and 30. So the answer is 120 degrees. Right? At 120 degrees, if the swimmer is swimming, we will directly reach the other side of the bank at the same point. Now we will take up. Next question, the ball is thrown vertically up, taken as plus z axis from the ground. The correct momentum height diagram is, which one is the correct diagram? Now we know that when a ball is thrown uh, in a projectile motion or even if it is thrown straight up, the velocity of the ball comes down because of gravity and gravity uh, and the position of the ball has a role to play, the height. So if we write v square is equal to u square minus 2gh, v is equal to root of u square minus 2gh. That means ball is not directly proportional to the height uh, it achieves. So this can't be a ramp function. Okay, this is slightly more complex uh, uh, relationship than a clear ramp function between v and h. So, and we know that p is equal to m into v, mass into velocity and mass is fixed. So, that's why we are considering only velocity as the uh, impacting factor. So, then what are the possibilities? So, possibilities are 1 and 4. Now, if you see in 1, uh, you know the, uh, uh, this thing, the momentum is actually growing okay so that doesn't look to be the case so fourth looks to be the perfect option thank you